Hi everyone, it is Team Clocked, but <laughs> we're back. We are. We are. Um, every time we say we're back though, we never actually come back. This is like the first and time, I, we're doing like an annual thing now, it's like one a year. But that's not good enough, obviously. No, I didn't want to say we were back, but we kind of are. We are we're back. But whether or not we keep this up, I hope we do. So. TC Topics, brand new episode. The last one we had was showing how long this was. The last TC Topics we did was a reaction to the teaser for Last Jedi. Yeah, it was, yeah. The teaser for so Last Jedi. That shows how long ago it yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, and the last video we did was actually me doing the Sonic Mania unboxing. So go and check those videos out. Right, so I want to talk about this because the channel started January 2015. That long ago? It was that long ago no. when we start when we wanted to do the campaign for special effect. Yes. Remember? We did. So games was like a massive thing for us then. Yeah. Um we played loads of games, all the triple A titles, all the indie games. We were we were pretty we kept abreast of all the indie games. Now, I want to know or I want to discuss what it's been like for you and me since then and what games mean to you now now here's the thing i'm going to start and the reason why i'm going to start is because i kind of know you're probably going to elaborate on more i think your journey on this and your feelings towards this is going to be a little bit more elaborate to what mine is oh, okay. so here's the thing games recently well very very recently i've started to pick it up again yeah but for the last 12 months like i've gone through like there's a lot of stuff happening a lot of stuff I've gone through mm -hmm. this like, past 12 months. And games has never been the thing to help us get through shit. Right. Um, and it's never been... Well, it was when I was younger. Yeah. But recently, like last like 10 years or something, games has never been something that I've used to try and escape anything I'm dealing with. Mm -hmm. Like, I only normally play games when I'm at peace and I'm happy and, and it, it, that's just my way of it mm -hmm. so because of that I've jumped off the bandwagon for games quite a while but it's yeah, only been did. to be fair it's only been about about a couple of months where I've really picked up on it to yeah. the point where I'm I'm now trophy hunting a lot of old games and stuff like that, which I've which I've I've always hated doing that stuff. But now I am. I'm got like I'm playing Horizon again. Yes. Yeah, and like I'm I'm trying to get the platinum trophy for Horizon, and mm -hmm. obviously I got the platinum for Final Fantasy 15, and that was an awesome journey. Like I yeah. love doing it. So for me, games are coming back. Mm -hmm. Um, but again, still only when I'm content. And I know I'm in control of stuff, and that's why I play games now. Interesting. So, that's me. Yeah. What about you? Because I think you see it in a very, very different way. I am the polar opposite to that. Oh my god, are you? So right, right okay. See, so, because I didn't know that. I mean, I've known you for fuck. I've known you for years. I've known you for twenty tw years. More than twenty. More than years, twenty years. Yeah. And I've never known that you ever used that as a way of sort of. A, escaping something or trying to i don't know yeah so that's the thing uh, games have never been that for us so games have always been played for fun or yeah, traditionally yeah, yeah. were played for well fun. yeah yeah of course yeah. um there was never more behind it for us right, it was okay. it was purely in there for the fun and things like when we got to generations like 360 and trophies and achievements and things yeah. came in that added new layer i now use games a lot as a way to switch off from stress do you totally so oh, if, I've okay. come, if I've come home and I've had a bad day at work yeah. or something else is going on and yeah. I'm stressed out, yeah. I'll put video games on to switch off because right. what I find is when I sink myself into a video game, mm. I stop thinking about everything else. Oh, so I okay, sink right, myself right. so far in that it turns us off completely to everything else as that's going on. Oh, that's interesting. And I've been using it like that for a while now. Oh, okay. Right. So if I feel really wound up, I'll put the PlayStation on, just completely forget about anything other than the game so for me yeah it's totally different because yeah it is if yeah. i'm relaxed or if i feel content i'm probably less likely to put games on or if i do it'll be something specifically that's very very relaxing doesn't require a great deal of thought yeah, yeah, yeah. um but i'll kind of sink myself into something very heavily story based or something that requires a lot of focus and attention so you do so those are the in-depth games you play when you need to escape stuff exactly so like an rpg like an a RPG. good like a meaty rpg so the yeah. example recently has been 
and it's ridiculous to, to, to think that I would use this when, I'm, when it's something when I'm feeling stressed out, is Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because to be fair, you can't be any worse than that dude from Dark Souls. So, exactly. you know, but, yeah, yeah. So I've, in the past couple of months, when I've been really stressed out, I've worked through Dark Souls 3 and Dark Souls Remastered. Yeah, yeah, And again, yeah. it's just, it is stressful and it is annoying, but it, because I'm so focused on what I'm doing there, I just switch off to everything else that's going on. Okay, yeah. Um, and also, this is another thing that I've, uh, what gaming's now become for me, and I've mentioned this a couple of times to you, is I've now tried to start integrating it into getting us out of the house a bit. So I've been playing Pokemon, Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go, yeah, you're back on Pokemon Go again, which, I mean, I can't remember you ever so that's liking thing. Pokemon so Go. When so when Pokemon Go first launched, I downloaded it, played it for maybe a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Never picked it up again. Um, there's a few people at work who are quite into it, so I thought I'll I'll pick it up, I'll give it a try, and I've just gone so far down the rabbit hole with it now that if I'm in the house and I've got some spare time, rather than sitting around, I'll get myself out and I'll oh, go okay, around yeah, walking, yeah. walking around the streets, do a couple of miles, play some Pokemon Go, and I feel like that's helping as well. So again, it's for me another way to to try and unwind, so it gets us out of the house, gets us a bit of fresh air. Mm. So it's interesting that the way you do it because yeah, um, like this and this is I remember I, I never noticed it in myself and it was only when Jennifer was in hospital when she was born mm -hmm. that I realised that's how I was yeah. because I remember she was in long story short she was in hospital for ages I ended up spending a load of time in the house by myself when I finished work but I mean at the time this is when Black Ops Two yeah. had just come out had just come out and I remember sitting there playing multiplayer going. This is this is rotten. This is rotten. <laughs> and this wasn't me sucking at cod because yeah. I fucking do. But it was just this is awful. I can't stop. I can't switch off. It's awful. And for some reason, games would not let us do that. So then it was kind of like the only re the, the, the good thing for me now with video games is that I always try and find a game now that's very. Happy? Oh, really? Um, like a Minecraft or something. Well, or no Man's Sky. No Man's Sky is, I mean, I, I've been flying the flag of No Man's Sky for ages. I love No Man's Sky. It's very, yes. very relaxing. It's very ambient. I love it. I love it. So, but um, Super Mario Odyssey. It is great. It's so happy. Odyssey it's so charming so and colourful. It's lovely. Even Horizon is very colourful. You know what I mean? It's very action. It's very um, Hollywood-ish. Oh, I would yeah, say yeah, yeah, Horizon. Um, I play a lot of Dark Souls. I love Dark Souls. Um, I played I played Dark Souls three at the beginning of the year. That got me through Christmas and everything. It was great, but then it was getting to the point where it's like I am so miserable. I am so <laughs> miserable. It's so dark. I can't do it. It's I did I beat it, but it took a long time. So yeah, for me, I'm trying to find things that are a little bit more charming. Yeah. Uh, more upbeat, more uplifting, and I think that is sort of giving me like a, a smile on my face when I'm something that makes me smile yeah. is what is something that I want that I want to play at the minute. Yeah. So, which is why the Nintendo Switch is come the Switch is in handy so that. much because when I want to, you know, if I just want to, if I'm in a really really good mood and I want to be and I want to keep that mood, I'll put Mario Kart on for ten minutes. Yeah. Or something like that, um, or Mario Odyssey, something along those lines. If if I'm calm and I'm relaxed and I just want to chill, No Man's Sky, something like that is perfect. Yeah. So I wish I could use it to escape stuff. You should, but I just can't. No, but I've tried. So, I can't. So what? So for, I mean, as I say, for me, when I put when I'm stressed and I put the games on, it just turns us off from everything else. So yeah. would it not do that for you? No. But no so would no, you still be I focusing can't. on the other stuff all the all the 100%. time? One hundred percent. That's so weird. One hundred percent. Because it's just not like that. Yeah, at all, yeah. yeah. Like, even like playing, even if I'm playing like Horizon recently, with like if there's anything that's go that that's going on, not even not work related, more like 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 personal stuff. Yeah. If if, I, if I'm thinking about personal stuff or things that are going on, and I'm playing Horizon, it's it, I always go back to it. It's always in me head that's constantly. So, so I try to do other stuff. Yeah. Like for me, I watch a lot of comedies. Comedies has got me through well, so much yeah. stuff. Stupid silly comedies makes me switch off from stuff that's going yeah. on because it's just so mental and daft. Uh, whereas video games, I don't know. I don't know where it is. I can't do it. And I, I wish I could, but I can't. But for you, it's good that you've got something there. That's your way of release. That, that's, that's your my, way of That's chilling. my escapism and that's my, that's, good. that's my way out of the stress for a bit. So is it is it generally kind of like 
meat RPG role playing games that you play? Or I mean, is, do you ever have situations where you with my situation where you would like to maybe just play something a little bit more charming or upbeat, or is that not something you would sort of like? No, I, I, I do uh, in some respects. So if I'm, uh, it very much does depend on the mood. So if I'm looking, if I feel kind of, if I'm feeling really stressed out, mm. then I'll sink myself into something that requires a lot of attention. Yeah. yeah. So like Dark Souls, or I'm playing through God of War at the moment. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. If I if I'm feeling just like I just fancy a bit of gaming, um, but I feel relatively relaxed, I'll go to something like a Mario Kart, um, or just really anything that's on the anything that's on the Switch at the minute. Mm, I tend okay. to find that's what I play more. But no, it's it's it is kind of mood based. But I tend to find if I need to switch off, I'll I'll make sure that it's into something that requires total focus and total attention. Okay, because right. if that's all I'm concentrating on, I don't think about the rest. That's fair, dude. So. As a overview, as thirty-three-year-old men, what? No, I'm not, man. We're not. We're not. We're not. As as thirty-three-year-old men, games are still alive and well for you. Games more are, so now than what have been. Games are probably more important now was than they've been at any other point. Really? Um, I mean, well, as a kid, it was. Uh, it's it, different it, though. As a kid, yeah. it's going back what we're saying. Uh, yeah. It's different as a kid because you've got no commitments. There's nothing going on. Yeah. It's just pure fun. Yeah. And obviously now we there's an extra, well. For you and sometimes me, there's an extra layer now. Oh yeah, of that without a doubt. Um, so, but it's still there. Massive. You still love love doing it. I'm still well into the community. I still I listen to gaming podcasts every yeah. day, so I'm well up on all of the news that's going on. I mean, they, we try and get online to play games occasionally. Yeah, not, not very much because we're all so different. busy these it's days. Different. We yeah, do yeah. try and get on occasionally. Yeah, but different. yeah, gaming is as important, if not more important, now than it probably ever has been. That's which is cool. a good thing. No, that's good. Yeah. So there you go. Um, that was actually really, really good. I um, that. So actually, at the time that we're recording this, we're just mm. about to go to NERG, which we is are. the Northeast uh, Retro Gaming con- Convention. Convention. Uh, yeah. Which we go to every year, and there's a video um, of what, the one we went to a couple of years ago. Years ago um, yeah. So we're actually just, this is why Graham's in my car, because we're just about to go and pick up Mills, and he's probably thinking where, where the hell we are. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. But oh, we're going to oh, pick better. him up, and we're going to, you know, play some games. We're going to play for, games. Well, all day, basically. So, um, right, so thank you everyone for watching, if you got this far. Um, Can I just... On the yes. side, Mate, what's that bit of your hair doing on the on the side there? Oh yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. it's all right, it's fine, it's getting it's it's getting long. Don't worry about that. Don't anyway. worry about that. So, um, so yeah, you can follow us on Facebook. Uh, we are occasionally posting things. Well, I will be posting things a little bit more now. Yeah, if we start doing more videos, we'll post more stuff. Um, you can follow us on Twitter. Why I don't know because I haven't. I, I can't remember the last time I tweeted something. We'll tweet um, once upon a but time. yeah, I mean. Um, any social media where we want to put the video up and we want to promote what we do, then you will be able to find us. Do not worry about that. Um, yep. Instagram, we'll probably put something up. And we'll probably put something on our own channels as well. Yep. Uh, so, excellent. Good stuff. So, thank you all for watching. Thank we you. will be back. I do promise you, we will be back. The um, pledge is made. The pledge is made. Do you think? We'll yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we, totally. we always pledge that, though. We this, always this, pledge it every this time. time. We always this pledge time it. it means it. <laughs> I'm the Jill at me, Martin Blythe. He is Grimmy D1, Graham Duncan. Okay, thank you very much for your time and your patience. We will be back. Thank you. Cheers.